Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be about a particular makeup product that I really wanted to kind of break down for you guys. Kind of give you guys like a one-on-one -on -one guide on how to use this product because it comes in different formulations, it comes in different forms, and can get a little complicated. So I thought, why not sit down and just talk about highlighter? I love highlighter. I love it from the drugstore. I love it from high-end brands. I just love it in general. It's what makes your skin glow it gives you that nice spotlight when you take photos it looks really beautiful because your skin has this kind of like angelic veil of glow to it you can go subtle you can go intense it's a really fun makeup product the only thing that is bad about highlight is if you have a lot of texture if you have large pores it will accentuate that but there are different types of highlighters for those kind of situations so you can go subtle you can use something that's more of a veiling product versus something really super intense but it's all about how you apply it it's all about how you blend it out so that you can accentuate your beautiful skin versus texture. So if you want to find out more about highlighter and this whole kind of 101 guide on the different formulas and how I apply them, when I use them, which kind do I use, then you know what to do. Just keep on watching. So the first one I thought I would mention is the liquid highlighter because I feel like I get a lot of questions about this, especially on Twitter. Why highlight with liquid? It just seems very messy and my answer to you is this. I like to highlight with powder primarily, but when you have a liquid highlighter, I think it helps to mix it into your moisturizer or into your foundation and it'll give you an overall glowy effect, a nice natural glow to your skin. It'll make your skin look dewy without looking greasy and the easiest way to do that is to either pump out or scoop out just a little bit of a liquid highlighter onto the back of your hand or a flat surface that you can mix your foundation or moisturizer into these liquid products because it will give you that overall glow. Now if you want to use a liquid highlighter to simply highlight the tops of your cheekbones and just the places where sun would naturally hit, then you can definitely do that. I would say to, again, apply the product on the back of your hand or a flat surface and then proceed to apply it either with the tips of your fingertips, kind of warming it up a little bit first and just kind of apply it like that and blend it out quickly before it dries and sets. Or my absolute favorite way when working with liquid highlighter is to use a sponge. I love the one from Pure Cosmetics. This used to come in their contouring cream stick kit. I don't know if they still sell that product anymore, but I do know they sell this sponge on the Pure website and it's $12. So it's a little bit more affordable than the Beauty Blender. And if you want to save even more money, you can definitely check out the ones from Real Techniques. Also great sponges. You wet them just a few minutes and then they kind of get larger and then very very mushy and soft and you kind of just bounce it on your skin and you can apply liquid highlight that way you can apply foundation love foundation with this sponge amazing and then I recently discovered this new brush this is the elf beautifully bare liquid highlighter brush so it's basically a flat faced stippling brush because it is a dual fiber brush it applies liquid highlight really naturally and it gives you that nice subtle glow OG YouTube. <laughs> so as you can see, it has like that dual fiber and then it'll just really nicely blend out any liquid highlighters. So I definitely recommend this brush from e.l.f. from their Beautifully Bare collection. And then also a sponge like this works miracles with any liquid products, whether it's foundation, moisturizer, creams, um, liquid highlight. So I definitely recommend a sponge for you as well. Oh yeah, and before we move further, the two liquid highlighters that I wanted to mention that I've been loving lately are the new Tardis Pro Glow Liquid Highlighter from Tarte in this shade Sparkler. It's a beautiful champagne shade has a little bit of a pinky reflect really really gorgeous I would say very very fair skin up to about light medium skin tones and they have a full range of shades but sparkler has been my go-to recently and then from the drugstore I have the wet and wild mega glow hello halo liquid highlighter in the shade halo goodbye and what I love about this one is that it has a nice doe foot applicator really easy to kind of dot it on and then blend it out with your fingers, sponge, or the brush I mentioned from e.l.f. Really love it. And again, the shade is Halo Goodbye, which makes me think of the Beatles. And I really love this pinky champagne shade as well. And then this Tarte liquid highlighter comes out. You just kind of squeeze it out from a little tube so it's easy to work with. You can kind of control it and um, just play with it. So I really like that. And then moving on to the next type of highlighter that is probably the one I use the least, but I do like this one in the summer more because it gives you a natural glow without looking too powdery. And that is the cream form. The one I want to talk about today is from Becca. I love it in the summer specifically because it's the kind of product that you can just kind of melt it into the skin. You can literally skip all of your makeup and just use a little bit of cream highlight, maybe some gloss and be good to go. Don't forget that SPF though. And the one I wanted to mention today comes from Becca. This 
is the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Poured, which just basically means it's the cream version instead of powder or liquid. And this shade is in the one called Opal. I have the powder counterpart, which I love as well, but as a cream, it just gives you this beautiful creamy glow. It's so easy to blend it into the skin, onto your face, and it just gives you this great, gorgeous radiance. So it's a perfect partner to pair your skin to in the summer, this time of year specifically. And I love this one from Becca because it's the most natural looking cream that I have found that isn't patchy, isn't chunky, isn't glittery. It's just straight up illumination, kind of in a natural radiant kind of way. And then I saved the best for last. My absolute favorite formula when it comes to highlight is obviously powder and you can get it pressed or you can get it loose. I tend to reach for press more because it's a lot easier to work with. For me, it's easier to blend out and it's not quite so messy. And my absolute favorite, if I had to run out the door, I was going on a trip out of the country and I had to pack my makeup in five minutes and I can only pick one highlighter, it would go to this guy and it's the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in Sin. This is an eight hour powder highlighter. This is a highlighter that goes and goes and goes it doesn't run out of steam. I love it so much. It's a beautiful pearlescent and a champagne shade again, and it's just so intense. It's what I have on the inner part of my eyes today. It's what I have on the tops of my cheekbones. It's the highlight I reach for when I really want that intensity, but it's so finely milled. It's also so creamy in formulation. It's an amazing highlight. I love this. I wish that Urban Decay would release even more shades. I believe they have two more, but I don't really like the other shades that much. There's one that's kind of reddish, and I think there's a darker bronze one. I'm not quite sure, but Sin is the one that always sold out when I used to work at Ulta. It's the best go-to shade for pretty much almost any and every skin tone. And if you can't pull it off on your skin, you can definitely pull it off on your eyes because it is the most shimmery single eyeshadow if you want to look at it that way. It's gorgeous. You can wear it as a highlight, you can wear it as an eyeshadow. It's a great, great, great highlighting powder. Sin is fantastic. And then when it comes to a loose highlighting powder. Not really a fan of loose powders. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, I've mentioned that time and time again because loose powders can be messy, but this one, I'll definitely overlook the mess for it because it isn't quite as messy. It has a shaker top, so it's a lot easier to work with. This is from ColourPop. This is their Luster Dust in the shade Strobe Globe, and it's a beautiful iridescent, soft, golden glow, and it's super intense, and it blends out so easily. It has that little shaker top, and it's just fantastic. I love it. It's I think five or six bucks. I also love one from Artist Co tour but I can't find it. I got that in a BoxyCharm many, many months ago, but it's amazing as well. I think it's called Diamond Glow, another amazing powder. For the most part, I tend to go for press because again, easier to travel with, easier to just kind of work with. It's not messy, but if you are trying to save a couple of dollars, definitely check out the Luster Dust from ColourPop because I was pleasantly surprised and you get a ton of product in here. This will last me for years. It's not gonna expire because powders don't expire quite as quickly. And I think I will have this guy for a really long time. If I ever do finish it, I will definitely pick it up again because Strobe Glow is amazing. And I've worn it as eyeshadow as well. One of my favorite brushes to actually apply powder highlight with is this one from ColourPop. It's the F5. It's called the Small Fluff Brush and it does such an intense job of just applying it. It does such a great job of just picking up the powder and applying it. You're not left with nothing on the skin. Some brushes I feel like don't really do anything once they transfer from picking up the powder and then popping it onto your face. I feel like you lose a lot in between somehow. This brush doesn't do that for you. It gives you everything you want as you can see on my skin today. I love this Urban Decay highlight and I love this guy with all of my powder highlights. It's just such an amazing brush. Again, it's the ColourPop Small Fluff Brush. So that's it guys. This was just a quick little video. I really wanted to talk about highlighter with you and share with you why I like the different formulations and what the difference is between a cream, a liquid, and a powder. Hopefully this set you guys in the right direction if you were thinking of highlighter and what you wanted to play with this summer. Hopefully my recommendations helped as well. These are some of my favorite highlighters right now at this moment. Thanks again for tuning in. I will see you guys next week. I think I will be reviewing a new bronzing product, a different one, a kind of glowy bronzer palette. Stay tuned. I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching and until next time bye bye guys i have the wet and mild wet and mild